I have finished my transformation into the superior apakaka. Hit it! That's what I'm talking about! Wait! Okay now, from the beginning. Hit it, boys. Good morning and welcome to day 18 of our Asia trip. Currently still in East Asia, South Korea. No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, we are about to go and discover the Samsung Mountain Castle. And by the way, it's our anniversary today. We are together 11 years. Woo! <laughs> One day in one day out on top then you're down the highs and the lows keep swirling walk these streets like you're beating rise up to me the break that you need it's coming just hold on hold on yeah if you're from europe particularly from germany here's a pro survival tip when you're crossing the street, watch out for cars. They do not stop here. Even if there's a zebra crossing, they do not legally have to stop. So be careful. Such a strange architecture. It's definitely sort of Alpine or Alpine influence, but we're in Korea, so don't only. Lift your eyes off the ground, you only be in one place yeah is this park or mountain castle exciting no but it is nice to but it is nice to just sort of have a relaxing walk through the forest and do some forest bathing oh, yeah. Lift your eyes off the ground you only be Yourself, it's like a kiss of death Instead of doing what you're doing You get caught up in your head Feet on the road with your eyes on the prize Inch by inch, one step at a time You're losing hope when you can't find A way to speed up the timeline But one day, though it might be a while It's gonna be worth every mile If you just I have finished my transformation into the superior alpaca. Alpaca with sunglasses. It's perfect for mountainous environments like these on top of hills or top of castles. Grazing. Alpaca. Okay. It's too tired. Alpaca doesn't do much. Just hanging around in hills. Oh. Sun soaking. Mm. 
I know there's a television show called Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, but do you think there is space for one called Current Crazy Wife? There's this sort of sense of peace and quiet about Korea that I just cannot shake off. It's very, very nice, a very pleasant place to be. It's nothing like the craziness of Vietnam or anything like that. I know it's not the same region, but still, it's, it's, it's just nice. Like, even in Seoul, in the big city of 10, 11 million people, it, it still had this sense of quietness and peacefulness about it. Talking trash, or how's a team, and how's a dad, and how some things just never change. This looks like a traditional Korean place to eat. Very interesting. I think we might need Google Translate here. This is so confusing. They sat us down, uh, gave us a menu, but no one's coming to take our order, and we don't know why. Maybe we need to walk up. I don't know how this works. A letter and a picture frame The day she said she felt the same The words painted around the sides Oh, here we go, another food coma. And I'm just wondering, how do Korean people not have a food coma at least twice a day? So... We've only been in Gongju for one day, uh, almost exactly 24 hours, and I would say that it was adequate. So like, if, if you're planning to visit Gongju, yeah, one day is enough, but I would recommend you to come two days, just so you can sit in all the small little cafes and just take in a bit of Korean culture, like this one. There's love inside. Here we are, back at the bus terminal. Um, I just really quickly wanted to say a big thank you to the uh, lady who runs the, uh, the hostel that we stayed. It's called Einhaus Hostel, and uh, she actually speaks German. She explained to us that the idea between, behind Einhaus is that, because she has everything under one roof, so she has a, a, a cafe, a jewelry shop, and a hostel. All in, all in one. So it's all an all in, ein house. They do have uh, individual double rooms and family rooms. Highly recommended. They speak German, English, and Korean. Go there. However, do be prepared that if you're booking a double room, you might be getting a more traditional-looking Korean room. I think they're called Roku, and it's it's very reminiscent of the Japanese way, the ryokan and it's uh, where you get the uh, futon beds. So it's, it's just layers upon layers of sheets. And it's just overall a little less comfortable than if you were to sleep in like a high-tech bed. That being said, we were quite comfortable. There was no problem, uh, our backs didn't hurt. Uh, we had about three or four layers uh, between us and the floor. It was perfectly fine. Just know that you might get a more traditional way of sleeping.